welcome back to arc tutorials this is yet another app review session and in today's episode we are reviewing black box ai so what is black box ai it's an excellent coding assistant ai tool that every developer qa or even for that matter if you are from a non coding background you can still use it let's go ahead and review and learn all about black box ai so what is black box ai it's an AI coding assistant built for developers and reverse engineers. Blackbox AI is a versatile AI powered coding tool known for its code completion, reverse engineering, and also for its capability to support over 20 plus languages. It enables users to extract and search code from videos, screenshots, and more. You can also use Blackbox AI to build your own AI chatbots, applications, landing pages, websites, and much, much more. So what are some of the features of Blackbox AI? AI autocomplete for 20 plus programming languages. Blackbox AI extracts code from images and YouTube videos. It is context aware suggestions in real time. Blackbox AI comes with as a Chrome extension. You can also use it in Visual Studio Code as a plugin. It can search code from documentation and open source projects as well. It supports multiple IDs, including the leading ones like Eclipse, Visual uh, Studio Code, um, all the IDs from JetBrains and much. It also supports code refactoring and debugging suggestions. It uses natural language to code generate. What are some of the advantages of using black box AI? It has a unique uh, ability to extract code from various formats. So you can provide an input not only as a prompt, but also as an image, as a video. It is useful for reverse engineering and learning. It's a great tool for developers, students, hackers, indie developers, and much more. This is in this era of wipe coding, black box AI is such an important aspect that every developer should give it a try. What are some of the pros? It's great for learning and reverse engineering code. It extracts code from video audio content as well. It's fast, responsive, auto completion, supports multiple languages. What are some of the cons? Uh, it can be sometimes inconsistent when you're especially working with a large scale uh, code repos. The browser extension is better than the ID plugin. Uh, that's what I felt. It has no native support for team collaboration. Uh, let's say you have 10, 20 people working together. Uh, that particular uh, team collaboration is yet to be implemented. All right. So what is the rating that we are giving on our tutorials for black box AI? We are giving it a solid 4.6 out of 5, which is an excellent rating uh, based on what we have seen in the past with other tools. Let's go ahead and check out the application. You can go to black box AI dot AI and you will see it will load. Just give it a minute. Looks like internet is slow, but in the meanwhile, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And blackbox.ai, that's the website. All right, so looks like some internet issue, but we'll figure that out. That's odd, this doesn't happen always. strange all right uh, looks like some issue with the internet at my end uh, while I'm recording this I'll give 30 seconds more I don't want to waste your time it's very precious but that being said let's hope that it works out or let's do a simple black box search and see if Google brings up Okay, so that, that's where we are. So this is the blackbox.ai website that you will go in and you can chat, you can create a landing page, you can create a web app. You, you What do you want to create? You can develop a game, image generation, uploading your files. You can tell the prompt, uh, create a customizable AI chatbot, create a website, build an app, etc., etc. So go ahead, build whatever you want. This is one of the best tools you can get to start building, do wipe coding, and much more. 
I hope you will enjoy this. Let me give you a simple thing and say, build a, a beautiful, a beautiful bootstrap five grid based cards for displaying um, four per row. Now it will ask you uh, for email address so you can enter something. I'm going to use a testing account for now. Let's see if that takes it. Disposable email addresses are not allowed, so it's smart. So go ahead, you sign up. I have already done it, but you can go ahead and do your own stuff. Let me do it real quick and continue. All right, so now it's asking me to upgrade the plan. I don't want to, so I'm going to cancel this here and I'm just going to ask him to generate the grid and let's see how it looks. So it's building that and let's see how beautifully it will build and I'll show you output in just a bit. All right, so it has built the, and you click on this icon, little icon, expand this and it will show you the preview. So this is how it looks. It has built the four cards that we want and you keep modifying the prompt and tell them add a nav bar. So now it will add the nav bar to this again. So, so it's a beautiful um, stuff. Uh, you can keep adding um, the prompts and it will start, you know, uh, kind of creating the code for you. So once it's done, just click on this icon, it would show you the code. It's still writing. So there you are, you have a nav bar and then you have the card. So basically you just provide the prompts and it will generate a beautiful website or app or a chatbot, anything that you want. All right. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. And this is one of the best um, tool, like I said, and it will be really helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy exploring apps. Thank you.